Well, good day to you. It's a Tuesday afternoon and I'm finally on my vlog walk. Today's walk is at uh, Newman's Park. This is in the Skidway Lake area of Mills Township, right next to the St. Stephen's Church. And over there is the Chamber of Commerce building. That's Michigan Magazine's HHR. Now, normally this is really plowed up, but we've got a lot of snow here today. And there's a main entrance way over on the other side of St. Stephen's Church. It's got the big sign that says Newman's Park. And it's a big drive. Sometimes that is, uh, the gate is closed. But this is the the uh, gate coming in from behind St. Stephen's and the chamber office this is usually plowed and bare so this is really a nice park and it looks like most of it is covered up with snow <laughs> since yesterday's storm now this is a beautiful sunny day I can't believe how beautiful it is and you know what we've got coming I think it's beginning at 10 o'clock this evening storm another storm looks like it might be even more intense than the last one. So I thought I'd get out here and show you this park. This is an amazing little park that people, a lot of people don't realize is here. But uh, we're gonna share it with you today a little bit, even though it is snow covered before the big storm comes. And uh, I, I've always been amazed by this park because it's got a paved quarter mile walking track and it's covered with snow and they've got basketball courts a beautiful pavilion they've got a couple of very nice tennis courts and i think they've got three ball fields all lit up with lights and as you can see up there you will always get a signal it's a big i think that's a verizon telephone tower i'm not sure but here this is the sad part sometimes you know, I wish we would be allowed to have pets in here and as long as they, uh, you know, cleaned up after them. That's a sad thing. I always like to bring my dogs and puppies to parks. What they need in the area is a nice dog park. Well maintained. I guess Iron Spark, they allow animals and dogs and pets to be on a leash and you can clean up after them. I like this. You may have seen some of my Instagram photos of this bench. They do have a, a lot of benches out here. Now this is the walkway. It's about a quarter mile. Goes through some beautiful area through here. And during the summer, this is just gorgeous with beautiful green grass. Go out there and, uh, you know, do some soccer playing or I don't know, just throw the ball back and forth. But it's a beautiful park. And this used to be, I don't know, some of the wind might be cutting off my voice here, but this is usually, a, it has been used as a, a, a skating rink. But uh, it's a beautiful park. I can't uh, stress that enough. And it is well maintained. No vandalism that I know of. And that pavilion is a nice place to bring the family for picnics and family reunions and whatnot. Uh, and up there's some grills. And usually in that field right over there, they usually have carnivals or uh, circuses come to town. Nice area. But as you can see, this is a nice blacktop walkway. And it is springtime. I think a couple of weeks ago, this was just beautiful. We did take a walk along this walkway then. And it was not snow covered. But I like this. Grandson usually comes out here and plays basketball or shoots hoops. But I like the tennis courts here too. There's probably about four, four full-size courts. I guess I can't get up there to the, to the uh, playground for the kids. We've got uh, facilities up there too, and uh, it's a nice walk. I love this pavilion. I love the way they've got these seats out here. But uh, you see this walkway being walked by many people in the area as exercise, about a quarter of a mile, as I said. And uh, I do have a hobby that I brought with me from childhood. I do like model rockets and shooting them off and things of that sort. I used to do that as a child and occasionally I get bitten by that again and I bring it out here in this field and shoot them off. <laughs> but soon Michigan Magazine will be presenting the Michigan Magazine drone. I think we're gonna get a Phantom 4 I believe and this is where we'll have some of our test flights. Incredible footage. It's going to help us out a lot and we'll be able to shoot some Amazing video of Coopersville, Old West Town, too. Technology is zooming along like you just won't believe it. 
had a full day today. Thanks for joining us. On the road, we were up in the Mayo area. We went over to Luzerne and we have an update on Mod Dieters. That's up online. And we had a little time lapse of how fast I can make it to Mod Dieters in a pinch. I think it was 24 seconds. <laughs> oh, we stopped over one by Mac Lake by request. Got some shots of that uh, really unknown by many lake over there. It's a beautiful lake. It's also the scene of uh, many tragic fires. Mac Lake Fire, you remember that? Uh, forest fires. And we'll be returning to that place too. But this is a gorgeous day, isn't it? 360? Oh my, yes. Beautiful day in Mill Scottship. So, we're gonna let you go, because I know nobody wants to hang around watching my videos all day or listening to me go on and on. So, I appreciate you stopping by. And I'm glad I could share this with you. From now on, we'll be trying to do our walks and vlogs from different communities. Ah, yes. Uh, we've been to Alger, West Branch, Fairview, Cummins, Luzerne, now Skidway Lake. We'll get down to Sterling, too. Listen, do you hear that? Look at that, that's a killdeer. We had, used to have a lot of killdeers up at the Michigan Magazine Museum. They would lay their eggs in our exposition area, and <laughs> we had to fence them in sometimes when they weren't hatched when our expo was up there at the museum in Cummins. So we fenced them in, but uh, usually the same pair, yeah, I think, you never can tell. It seemed the same pair came and nested in the museum grounds every year. And they got to the point where they were hatched and gone before the expo came. A little bit of trivia. But anyway, I see a nice bench coming up here shortly. You have a great day, great afternoon. Get ready for the storm coming in at about 10 o'clock. It's gonna last through maybe 10 tomorrow evening. Oh, you know, the uh, estimates are different. Look at here. Deer, I'm gonna use my tracking skills. Oh, went into the woods. Enough tracking for today. You have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon. Uh, probably a wintry blog walk. <laughs> Have a great day. Get up and get out and enjoy Michigan in the springtime, believe it or not.